Hello, fellow NFL fanatics. Welcome back to the Kickoff Zone, where we tackle the fascinating stories behind your favorite football teams. Today, we're venturing into the intriguing history of the Buffalo Bills. So if you're a diehard Bills fan or a curious football enthusiast, buckle up for a thrilling ride through time. And remember, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things football. Let's rewind to the birth of the Buffalo Bills. Founded in 1959 by Ralph Wilson, the Bills joined the American Football League as the seventh team, sparking excitement throughout Buffalo. Ralph Wilson, a minority owner of the Detroit Lions, had longed for a team of his own. When the opportunity arose to join the AFL, he jumped at it, creating the Buffalo Bills. The early years were challenging as the new team struggled to find its footing. The Bills' inaugural season in 1960 was an uphill climb, with a final tally of five wins, eight losses, and one tie. The team was a ragtag group of rookies and NFL castoffs, but they had grit and determination. The team's first draft pick, Richie Lucas, showed promise at quarterback, but the team's first season was a learning curve. Time for trivia. What was the name of the Buffalo Bills' first head coach? The mid-1960s was a turning point for the Buffalo Bills. With the appointment of head coach Lou Saban, the Bills began to turn the corner. Saban, a strict disciplinarian with a keen eye for talent, reshaped the team into a championship contender. Under Saban's leadership, the Bills acquired quarterback Jack Kemp off waivers from the San Diego Chargers, an addition that proved pivotal. The team also added a slew of talented players through the draft including star running back Cookie Gilchrist and future Hall of Fame guard Billy Shaw. From 1963 to 1966, the Bills enjoyed a period of success seldom seen in the history of professional football. The team won back-to-back -back AFL championships in 1964 and 1965, cementing their place in the annals of football history. Despite falling short in 1966, the Bills remained a powerhouse throughout the decade. Your next trivia question, who was the Bills' leading rusher during the 1964-1965 AFL championship seasons? As we roll into the 1990s, we land upon the golden era of the Buffalo Bills. This was the time when the team not only dominated the AFC, but also etched their name in NFL history. Led by Hall of Fame coach Marv Levy and quarterback Jim Kelly, the Bills became the only team to ever appear in four consecutive Super Bowls from 1990 to 1993. This period was marked by the establishment of a high-powered offense known as the K-Gun, which was named after Keith McKellar, a tight end for the Buffalo Bills. McKellar was a very fast and agile tight end, and due to coaches and teammates saying he had Killer Speed. His nickname on the Bills was Killer, which was the source of the K in K-Gun. With quick snaps and no huddle tactics, the K-Gun was an offensive powerhouse, tearing through opposing defenses. Kelly, together with fellow Hall of Famers Thurman Thomas, Andre Reid, and James Lofton, was instrumental in spearheading this formidable offensive unit. However, reaching the Super Bowl is one thing, winning it is another. The Bills unfortunately fell short in all four appearances. First, there was the heartbreaking loss to the New York Giants in Super Bowl 25, where kicker Scott Norwood's wide right field goal miss in the final seconds became an unforgettable moment in NFL history. Following this, the Bills faced defeats against the Washington Redskins and twice against the Dallas Cowboys. Despite the losses, the sheer accomplishment of making it to four consecutive Super Bowls is a testament to the Bills' resilience and skill during this era. Even without securing a Lombardi trophy, the 90s Bills left an indelible mark on the franchise and the sport. Oh, then your next trivia question? Who was the Bills' quarterback during all four Super Bowl appearances? After their Super Bowl appearances, the Bills experienced a period of change and retooling. While they had some seasons better than others, they couldn't quite reclaim their Super Bowl form. But through it all, the Bills' spirit never wavered. Here's more trivia. 
What year did the Bills break their playoff drought? Ralph Wilson, the man who started it all, passed away in 2014. The Bills Stadium was named in his honor, ensuring that every home game serves as a reminder of his enduring contribution to the team. In 2020, the stadium was renamed Bills Stadium after Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield, a Buffalo-based health insurance company. However, the stadium's nickname remains The Ralph, a tribute to Wilson, who was a beloved figure in Buffalo. By the way, what year was the Buffalo Bills Stadium renamed in honor of Ralph Wilson? No history of the Buffalo Bills would be complete without a shout out to the Bills Mafia, the team's passionate fan base. Coined in 2010 during a Twitter exchange after Stevie Johnson dropped a pass against the Steelers, the term Bills Mafia rapidly gained popularity and is now a badge of honor for Bills fans. The Bills Mafia is known for their extreme loyalty, energetic tailgating, and even jumping through tables. They're a passionate group of fans who are always there to support their team no matter what. Next in trivia, who is credited in coining the term Bills Mafia? Fast forward to the present day, the Buffalo Bills are once again a force to be reckoned with. They are a team on the rise. Since the start of the 21st century, the team has had its fair share of ups and downs. But one thing's for certain, the Bills never stop fighting. And as we've seen, they're creating their own historic moments that will be talked about in decades to come. Under the guidance of head coach Sean McDermott, the Bills ended their 17-year playoff drought. McDermott's strategic planning and focus on building a strong team culture turned the Bills from underdogs into contenders. Players like Josh Allen, Matt Milano, and Stefan Diggs have become household names in the world of the NFL, showcasing their talents on the field and giving Bills fans something to cheer about. Under McDermott's leadership and the prowess of these players, the Bills have reestablished themselves as a team to be reckoned with. Their success speaks volumes about the potential of the team. And with such a dedicated fan base, the Bills are geared up for a bright future. The magic of the early AFL years is back in the air. And with a rekindled flame, the Bills are once again ready to make even more waves in the NFL. So how'd you do in trivia? Here are the answers to those questions. Comment down below on how many you got correct. Number one, the name of the Buffalo Bills first head coach was Buster Ramsey. Number two, Cookie Gilchrist was the Bills' leading rusher during the 1964-1965 AFL championship seasons. Number three, the Bills' quarterback during all four Super Bowl appearances was, of course, Jim Kelly. Number four, the Bills broke their playoff drought in 2017. Number five, the Buffalo Bills Stadium was renamed in honor of Ralph Wilson in 1998. However, after Ralph Wilson's death, it was renamed New Era Field in 2016. And lastly, trivia number six. The term Bills Mafia was coined by Adam Schefter and Drew Bagnall in 2010. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the history of the Buffalo Bills. We hope you've learned something new and gained a deeper appreciation for the team and its dedicated fans, the Bills Mafia. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to leave your trivia score in the comments below. And remember, stay in the kickoff zone for more fascinating stories behind your favorite football teams. Until next time, keep the football spirit alive.